Good evening and thanks for having us in. Could a gay slur cause Coach Greg McMacken to lose his job as University of Hawaii football coach? Well, that can't be completely discounted as Coach McMacken's bosses react to the statements made at a news conference in Salt Lake City today. KITV's Catherine Cruz is here with tonight's top story. Catherine. Well, you know, so far no one has actually called for McMacken's termination, but his bosses were pretty shocked at the news and are trying to do damage control locally and abroad. Coach McMacken apologized as soon as he realized his mistake. But what I was trying to do is be funny, and it wasn't funny. But he could pay a high price for the six-letter derogatory gay slur that made national news this morning. It was in reference to a kind of cheer performed by Notre Dame football players at the Hawaii Bowl game. We do something special at Notre Dame, he said, and they get out and they do this little cheer. Like this, you know, here, you you can bet McMacken's bosses weren't laughing. I'm angered and disappointed by the statement attributed to Coach McMacken this morning. It certainly does not represent uh, the values of the University of Hawaii. I've spoken with Coach Mack, and he realizes he made a serious mistake. He's extremely apologetic. And I have to admit, it's not in keeping with what I've seen from Coach Mack throughout the time I've worked with him. He's very respectful of all people. Obviously, we do not condone any type of discriminatory statements mm -hmm. such as this. We are a campus that em embraces diversity, uh, recognizes the need for, for gender equity and e equity across the board, not only in sports but in academics. So we would not want this type of statement to cast a disparaging um, shadow over our university or our state as a whole. University administrators declined to talk about any disciplinary action, but the Board of Regents will take up the issue behind closed doors at its next meeting. Sanctions against McMacken could range from a reprimand to something as serious as losing his job. Coach Mack's contract has a clause that includes public scandal as possible grounds for termination. But some students don't think the slur rises to the level of something that harsh. If you say something like that, you don't necessarily mean, like, I hate gay people or, you know, I, I have these views about this certain group of people. I think maybe it was meant as kind of a, 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 a diss on the dance. Coach Mack is the highest paid state employee, making more than the governor and the university president at more than a million dollars a year. Some have suggested that a financial penalty be considered. McMacken is also being urged to meet with the gay community whom he may have offended. Now at this hour, McMacken is on his way home to Honolulu. We plan to have a crew at the airport and have to hear more from him later tonight. Reporting live, Catherine Cruz, KRTV 4 Island Television News.